Hi, I'm Elise Fabricant. I'm a teacher for Yoga Download, and I'm here today to teach you Setu Bandhasana, which is bridge pose. So we'll begin on our backs. Roll down onto your back and place the feet close up to the hips. Now it's important that the feet are hip width distance apart with the toes right in front of the heels. There's a tendency often for the toes to turn out. Bring them back so that the feet are parallel. Then you can lift up your hips just about one quarter of the way to begin and start to roll your shoulders underneath the body. Some people like to place the hands down to the ground. Some people like to clasp the hands underneath the butt. Your choice. Bridge pose is one of the only poses in yoga that actually calls for the shoulders to be shrugged up towards the ears. So take those shoulders up a little bit. This will allow the neck to lift up off the ground slightly, creating a cervical spine curve. Very healthy for the neck. While we're at that part of the body, go ahead and draw the back of your head down into the ground, lifting the chin a little bit higher. So shoulders down, head down, curve through the neck, press the feet into the ground, and from here, lift the hips to your full capacity. Hips lift, rib cage lifts, now the chest lifts and moves towards the chin. The chin doesn't want to have anything to do with the chest, so move it back away. Notice your legs. If your glutes are really engaging in squeezing, the legs might be splaying apart. To counteract this, engage the butt, the glutes, and the inner thighs, the adductors. Keep the thighs parallel. Finally, press the feet into the ground and energetically swipe them back towards you, towards your butt. They won't actually move, but it'll feel like you're trying to wrinkle up your mat in the middle. Then you can start to guide your knees further towards the back of the mat away from you. One more breath into the belly and then slowly release. Unwind the arms if they're bound. Come down ever so slowly. Releasing from bridge is a nice way to set up Shavasana. The spine and hips should be in a perfect alignment for that final relaxation. If you'd like a modified version of bridge, you can take a block. Same setup with the feet and legs. And you'll just lift the hips up enough to slide the block underneath the sacrum. The sacrum is that bony triangle right above your butt crack. And it feels very nice and supportive to rest there. The block is usually good at the medium height. Depending on your height and your flexibility, you might want it at the higher level as well. And then as you rest in a supported Satubandhasana, you can just let the belly rise and fall with the breath. Nice massage of the thyroid gland. Very supportive. All right. I hope you learned something about Satu Bandhasana today. Thanks so much. Namaste.